And in a five, four, three, two, one, reset. Hey guys, welcome back as always. My name is Lazar, and yes, I'm a little bit under the weather, but fear not, we're gonna make this one quick and painless. Unfortunately, this is not reset. This is the old rotation. This is a common bug. If you got this bug, you can do a soft reset, as in get out of the menus and get back into them. Eight times out of 10, this does not work, so fully restart your game like so yeah yeah welcome welcome nine gallium and he calls me friend he gave me like nine gallium and he calls me friend but anyway back to the actual reset itself we should be seeing it now my friends this is rotation four and you got yourself the lex incarnate the magistar the boltor the bronco and the ceramic dagger i have heard fantastic things about the ceramic dagger so thank you to my amazing community apparently you should definitely go for this one this was the incredible stat stick nowadays right correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section down below now i'm gonna keep myself to the ranged weapons because this is what i love in warframe lex incarnate and genesis adapter an absolutely amazing secondary weapon from my point of view the most powerful right now now subjectively speaking from a dps perspective there are others more powerful but you gotta get this one this is an absolute must have get yourself the lex prime and the incarnate genesis adapter and enjoy as per usual i'm gonna have full and detailed build guides linked in the cards in the comment section essentially everywhere and i'm just gonna show you a snippet of gameplay to see if you're interested in not as for the boltor initially this was a bit of a disappointment to many tenno it's not really all that bad it's an absolutely amazing shotgun and a fan freaking tastic single target weapon top five in warframe right now no question when it comes to again the single target damage you can go for the telos you can go for the prime i recommend you go for the prime it's only a smidge better but then again the telos you need to take into account that special syndicate effect it has so it, they kind of balance each other out essentially if you have one over the other forget about it and just go for the one that you have also keep in mind that nowadays you can pluck out the incarnate genesis adapter and plug it into another weapon so let's say i'm not happy with my choice or i want to simply test something else you don't need to get another adapter however you will need additional resources so bear that one in mind the bronco the teapot teapot prime that is of course that's gonna be the best one the bronco hasn't been relevant in warframe the bronco prime and the normal bronco for a very long time there's even an ack teapot prime believe it or not yes that's actually true the gimmick that they chose for this one is an insta link to multiple targets which is cool which is fantastic but i feel it doesn't get most of you all that excited is it one of the most powerful secondary weapons in the game it might maybe make a top 10 in incarnate form but not really i still think it's a fantastic weapon and it should be experienced as per the usual you can watch the guide before deciding if you like it or not as for the magistar i'll be honest i didn't hear fantastic things about it but then again i'm not a melee guy Forget about my choices. My choices right now are not relevant simply because I have all of these incarnate Genesis adapters already. Let's have a quick look at normal. You got Ember, Trinity and Excalibur. Excalibur is a starting frame and I know a whole lot of you fantastic Tenno went for Excal. I went for Excal because I asked my friends, hey, what's the melee option here? I like to play melee in these kinds of games and they said Excal. I'm not sad I picked up Excalibur. It was a good experience nowadays. However, from my point of view, Excalibur gets a little bit boring a little bit quick. Most of the builds that I use revolve around his Exalted Blade because cool energy blade that cuts through everything. Still an amazing Warframe. I don't know how hard he is to farm if you don't pick him up as a starter frame though. Trinity and Ember. I don't feel like Trinity has a huge fan base. Yes, you can scream in the comments if you want to. It's fine. I'll totally care. You can get the Trinity Prime really easily and Trinity you can simply feed to your helmet. I never, I never farm Trinity. I never farm Trinity, that's true. I don't even know where to farm it, so... If it didn't drop for me just by playing the game, then I'm assuming you need to do specifics. As for Ember, ha! <laughs> she is quite hot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to go there. Ember was my first farmed Prime. It was honestly an amazing experience because what I thought back then, if I buy Ember, if I farm Ember, I'm gonna get myself in Warframe this amazing Fire Mage. That's what Ember screams, Fire Mage, right? Now, this was the old Ember before the rework, so I was a bit disappointed in her performance. However, nowadays, after the rework, she's a whole lot more playable. She's a whole lot more capable. My recommendation to you, if you have none of these frames, is pretty much whatever. I still feel like Excalibur is the most fun to play but gets boring really quickly after that i would go for ember as i can easily get trinity prime so that is that to bear in mind 
And I do believe, my friends, that's pretty much it. As always, my name has been Lazar. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like it if you like it. Dislike if you dislike this video. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to bed.